hello, and welcome to another virtual dose of vitamin Z, where we bring the Detroit Zoo to you. My name is Zara. I'm an education specialist here at the Detroit Zoological Society, where we celebrate and save wildlife every day. Today, I'm outside the Edward Mardigan Senior River Otter Habitat, where we will go on a virtual habitat tour of the river, uh, of the habitat, and meet the river otters who live here. Are you ready to explore? Let's go. 2,500 square feet of space gives the resident otters plenty of room to play, sleep, and swim in. The otters have an aquatic area that includes a water fountain, a deep pool, and a lazy river. The otters have room to roam and swim, and visitors have lots of places to view them in. Now that we've seen the habitat, let's go ahead and meet the otters who call it home. The Detroit Zoo is home to three otters. Kaylee is the youngest and the newest. She found sanctuary at the Detroit Zoo after she was rescued in June of 2018 by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. The otter habitat is also home to Whisker and Lucius. Whisker found sanctuary at the Detroit Zoo in 2009 after being rescued while trapped as a pup in a home in Washington State. Lucius was born in 2006 and arrived at the zoo in 2009. The otters spend time in the habitat in pairs, with Lucius splitting his time between Kaylee and Whisker. If you're having trouble spouting the otters, be sure to look closely at the logs as those are some of their favorite places to spend time. Sometimes they also like to take naps all the way in the back of the habitat and can be hard to spot. Otters have developed some specific adaptations over time that seem to be ideal for surviving in the water. Their sleek, streamlined bodies are perfect for diving and swimming, and their bodies are covered in a thick coat of fur that keeps them really warm. When otters come out of the water, their outer fur sticks together in wet spikes, but the fur underneath appears dry. That's because otters have two layers of fur, a dense undercoat that traps air and a top coat of long waterproof guard hair. Otters have long, slightly flattened tails that move sideways to move through the water. They also have these flipper-like back feet, which act like rudders to steer. Otters have two layers of eyelids, one of which is transparent. This helps them see underwater, which is really important because that's where they find their food. They can hold their breath for about eight minutes underwater. River otters can close their ears and their nostrils using valve-like flaps to keep water out while swimming and diving. And these whiskers aren't just for show. River otters use their whiskers to detect current changes in the water. This helps them navigate underwater and find food in the wild. Otters have a very fish-heavy diet, diving for shellfish and crayfish and more. The otters at the zoo are also given carrots and other fruits and vegetables. These serve as enrichment or something to play with, but are also things they eat. The otters at the zoo are active and are outside year-round. Otters are native to a variety of climates, including colder climates like Michigan, and do well even on really cold days. What they can't handle is polluted water. Otters really prefer a clean habitat with water that's free of toxins and pollutants. We can help keep local wetlands clean for otters and other animals by making sure the water that goes down our storm drains is free of pollutants. This means using natural pesticides on our lawns and gardens, washing our cars with natural products, and preventing waste from finding its way into our wetlands. Thank you for exploring the river otter habitat with me. Be sure to look for the river otters all over their habitat the next time you're at the Detroit Zoo.